I don't know which young girl needs to hear this today, but your knight in shining armor is not going to be a man. It's going to be money. The sad reality about wealthy men is the fact that they think they're the prize simply for having money. Nigga has no provider mentality. He lacks critical thinking skills. He can't communicate. He can't buy you flowers. He can't take you on a date. He's useless. He's useless. Basically, he's useless. And then what makes it even worse is they sit there and they obsess over this idea that all the women are hoes and women just want to use you for money. Dude, because all you have to offer is money. Like, what else are we supposed to do? Jump around, play hide and seek? And then they're going to be there like, oh my God, I just want love. Like, these hoes in these streets, this generation, this generation. Nigga, time your body count is older than my great grandmother. So like last night I was high, like I was really high and I hadn't eaten. So like the high was kicking, right? And then I was talking to this other guy and then he's like, um, did you eat? And I'm like, no, I didn't eat. And then he's like, oh no, you better make something. And then I was talking to this other guy and he's like, oh, did you eat? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, what should I get you? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Sharp, he sends me 600, I get food. Life is good. I was eating lamb chops. Good men still exist, guys. Give them a chance. <laughs> For the wall. For the wall! <laughs> As you can see, this female is a hypocrite. Like majority of females are hypocrites. But where is the hypocrisy coming from in this case? Well, we can start with how men with money think they're the prize. Just the same way you think you're the prize. Just the same way females think they're the prize because they're baddies, because they have experience, because of pretty privilege. Isn't that really what you are you are literally explaining to everyone the exact same thing that you are you described yourself in a female's body instead we're looking at the male version it's interesting how the males who are out in the streets looking for coochie they come across you who's out in the streets looking for a man with money sounds like a couple made in heaven you both have nothing to offer except for his money and your coochie you met your match why are you complaining because in the other video you spoke to two men one man said hey why don't you make something he didn't offer you his money he was there for you to speak to sound like a decent guy and what was your energy towards him and then the man, the other man you spoke to, he offered you money and you bought lamb chops. And what was your energy towards him? So we could already see what your type is. The man with money who has nothing to offer. Because the man who didn't offer his money but most likely was offering his time to get to know you you declined it you rejected it you rejected him because he didn't offer you money but the man who did offer you money you accepted him you was more open to him and you are most likely going to continue talking to him so what i'm saying is this female is her own problem this female is actually upset at the fact that she can't keep a man she has all these guys on her DMs, on her contact list that don't want her. All these guys on her contact list that she probably slept with. All these guys that she's seeing and no one wants her. But they're always willing to give her money, but never willing to give her commitment. I'm at a point in my life where I'm just going to get another one. Another one. Another one. No matter what it is, I am just going to get another one another one no stress no bad energy i'm just gonna get another one she belongs to the streets another what because another d is not going to help a lot of females 
they don't want to be alone sometimes they don't want to face themselves they don't want to take accountability they don't want to deal with themselves so it's so much easier to get another d because you're not getting another man because that man ain't even your man you're not getting another husband because from what i'm seeing no man wants to commit to you so what is it that you're getting another of you're just getting a piece of him that's between his legs that is all that you are getting the same experience that you don't want to be in the truth is you don't want to deal with yourself you don't want to look yourself in the mirror by yourself because then you will see what the problem is and a lot of these females they can't face themselves not by themselves because that reality is more painful than going through different men that can make you forget about your issues because all you will see is his issues when really you're still the issue and how are you going to find someone I, someone gonna find me they trying to you keep ignoring the dms <laughs> you know but i just feel like you gotta catch me like in person i need to feel right. that energy you know i'm big on energy i'm more so attracted to like energy than looks okay uh -huh. so <laughs> sensational what is crazy is sweetie and a lot of other females actually believe that they can just get what they want whenever they want because they can and that they exist to be honest the last relationship she had was with Quavo and from what I heard she slept with Offset so you know these females think they can just get another one another one just like the other female when really you're just getting another piece of him that's between his legs and you somehow equate that to some value that you're able to get men when really you're just able to sleep with man you're not able to keep a man you're not able to commit to a man and guess what men don't want to commit with you especially not with the type of female that you are so yeah ninjas are gonna vibe with you ninjas are gonna vibe with you all day baby every single day you best believe it but when you start asking him about settling down there ain't no more vibes modern women over 30 hitting the wall they hit the wall because they continue to do the same thing that led them to the wall but you know what it is it's that dopamine hit is that excitement is that validation that clout that attention that they can't seem to actually draw the line with and see there's no value behind it but a lot of times that itself is their value system their value system is what feeds their ego so simply it's harder for them to let go of their value system even if it's going to benefit them because if they let go of the value system then they will see the truth about themselves and how much little value they don't have and that's the reality they don't want let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye Another one.